Well, good Monday morning. I'm Rick Dancer, and welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. This is a show sponsored by Elements Health Club because Elements believes that part of being a healthy community is having a healthy business community. So every week we're sponsoring a different show on different businesses so that you can find out more about what's going on in your local community. And today we're at the Bread Stop Bakery out in West Eugene, and one of their more, well, everything's famous, but you probably see these labels, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, Holla bread, look at this. And you guys, today is baking day. So we're gonna go into the, well, we're not gonna take you in the oven, but we're gonna go into the oven area. And here are our owners. Oh my God, he's tall, he's really tall. So tell him your name. Hi, I'm David O'Grady. And you are? I'm Erica O'Grady. Okay, so you have been here, you started here, like kind of give people the history. Well, I started working here in 1994 under the original owners, uh, Michael, and let's see, I uh, worked here for, I've been working here pretty much ever since. Um, we bought the bakery, we're the third owners, we bought the bakery in 2007, so I've been the owners since 2007. So what's the secret? I mean. You know, I, I don't want to make, I don't want you guys to make less dough, get it? But, and I know you have nice buns, but what is the real, I got to get all the puns out of the way here. But what is the real secret? The what secret is to making the bread? Secret? Your or, bread, yeah. Our bread? Oh my God, be patient and just, you know, keep it simple. You know, we make bread the old fashioned way. Um, we start with raw ingredients, natural ingredients, and um, all just those age old classic method of making bread, you it's know? Like homemade. It's like, like homemade old fashioned, bread, yeah. just homemade, simple bread. Do you know Wendy Nelson? I don't. She's saying hi, Erica. Oh, Wendy. Oh. Hi, yeah. she's, oh, cool. she's obviously saying hi. To hey, you. sister. So, so show us, first of all, you guys, there's a new label, and we want to make sure everybody knows yeah. what's coming out. So kind of show us what's yeah. going on here. Check it out. So Check it. This is so cool. Definitely. You know, it's something that we've been working on for a while, but during this time of quarantine, we were, you know, we pulled back on some things, and we were able to dedicate some time. So to those of us who've been so loyal, to the bread stop and those new to us, um, our new logo looks like this. And you know, we, all our labels are in kind of earth tones. So you'll, you'll see our bread, you'll recognize it's our bread, but it'll have a different look on it. And so, we're really excited. So it kind of gave you time, COVID, uh, the reaction here and everything that's gone on, kind of gave you the time you needed to kind of go, okay, that's something we've always wanted to do. Let's just, just cut, let's do it. Definitely. You know, we, we, we're thinking about a d redesign for a logo for a long time. We needed a new website and these new labels. And, um, you know, it's just having that time where we had to pull back and other things really just gave us the opportunity to just bring this to completion. And we're very excited. <laughs> Let's go see. Can we go to the kitchen? Yeah. You guys, awesome. check this out. This is. So, oh, hold on. We're gonna go to the see, far end right. of the house. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Far end of the house Over is here. where all the baking happens, all the making of bread, and then the next room is the baking of bread, and then the next room is the oh, cooling of bread, God. and the last room is the packaging of bread. So right now. All that we have, the folks we have in the house are our production folks. So let's go see what they're doing. Okay. Oh, everybody's in a mask, so we're safe. Okay, guys. <laughs> so if anybody's in the witness protection program, go ahead and tell me now, because I'm going to ruin you for life. Oh, my God. Look at that. Hold on. Can I get behind you? Go ahead. Do your thing. Okay, what's the secret? There is no secret. Just love and care. <laughs> so we're making the uh, burger buns. This oh, is these our, are the buns? Uh, what we call our, our, we refer to it as brioche or pub dough. It is essentially brioche dough. Uh, lots of butter and eggs. Uh, this machine rounds three dozen at a time. We uh, tray them after that and then they are proofed and baked later on today. That is so cool. We're doing uh, about Eight hundred of these today. Eight hundred rolls. Oh my God! Look at those. So how how much? Oh my God! Hey, buddy. How are you? Look at that flour, butter. Eggs. Oh 
Oh my God. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is like, this is like grandma's heaven. <laughs> Except you probably do it better than grandma, huh? <laughs> Uh, I won't speak bad about your grandma, but better than my grandma, that's for sure. Wow. So again, you guys were at the bread stop out in West Eugene. Where do you guys you guys sell? Everywhere. I mean, who? Markets all around town. We're in uh, grocery stores from Salem, uh, Roth's Markets. Um, we're in Corvallis, uh, all over Eugene, and as far south as Roseburg at the Thunderbird Market. A lot of restaurants too, sir. A lot of restaurants too, all, all over. Um, these buns in particular are going to uh, Toxic, all the Toxics, and uh, sure where Sun River, Sun River uh, Brewing gets these. Um, Stewart's 58 up in Oak Ridge. Um, but we make 100 products a day that go all over the place. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ask this guy. I think he might have a sense of humor. Can I ask you a question? What's the secret to your fine buns? Secret to our fine buns? Uh, I, I don't know if I have an answer for that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You, this guy's a smart ass. Okay. What's the secret to your fine buns? Uh, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> no, it's, it's just uh, it's everybody that works here, the love and care that we put into the dough. I was tempted to take the camera and go like that, but then I thought that'd be really <laughs> tacky, you know. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's go. Thank you, my man. Look, you guys. Oh, God, doesn't that make you hungry? Look at all these. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm good. You guys, this is honey. Oh my god, I can smell it. I can just smell it. Here you guys. And there it is. That's how you do it. People are coming out home going, wow, this is the coolest thing. We're doing about 300. 300? 300 loaves of honey wheat today. This is the honey wheat bread, you guys. 300 loaves baking today. We'll bake today. Oh my god, look at all these ovens. Hold on, there's more guys. If you guys, I wish. Okay, so what's the that's difference? That's it's a black bean? It's a black bean? Oh, uh, sorry, that is the amaranth. And. So, how do you decide which oven it goes in? Does it matter? That's a good question. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, this oven has steam injection, which we use for certain products. Um, not necessarily all of them, but. What does that do? What does steam, in, uh, steam injection the, do? The steam uh, kind of helps create more lift in the, in the dough, in the bread. Uh, helps it before it crusts over. If there was like a, a hard heat, it would kind of crust over and kind of freeze it. The steam allows it to keep expanding, give it more rise. Look at that, you guys. That's how the professionals do it. <laughs> and you wonder why it's so easy for them. If I had an oven like that, I could bake like this too. <laughs> This is sourdough rye, guys. We love our sourdough breads. We've got three of them. A whole wheat, or a classic sourdough, and rye. This is actually my favorite. This is one of my favorites. This one, I was like, when the opportunity came to buy the bakery, I was like, I love the sourdough rye. Yes, yes. Dude, is that, that's not something you hear about very often, is it? The sourdough? Sourdough rye. Rye. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's, a, it's an old New York recipe where the original owner was from. Sourdough... Yeah, deli rye is what he called it. And our sourdough is like, you know, it's been around since the first one. That same it's recipe culture. for 33 years. Yeah. yeah. So do you eat a lot of bread? You know, I try to limit now, but uh, yeah, a little bit of a snob now. The bread sits on my home counter for two days. I'm like, ah, next. <laughs> so you, you're snotty about your bread, aren't you? It, my bread, yeah. You know, when you have all of this bread. You have all of this bread to choose from. I can bring home fresh bread every day. 
My son is sick of having, when he goes to school, he ate sandwiches every day, but you know, what are you going to do? And bagels. And bagels. We, yeah, bagels is a big, too? yeah, we'll show you something. Okay, today. okay. Bagels, guys, is every, everything's here. Yeah, what's so, this? This is a proof box. Okay, you guys. Oh, this is where they... You guys, this is where they rise the bread. Everybody's up here drooling. So look. Oh, God. Look at that. You guys, it smells so dang good in here. What are these? Uh, burger buns. Honey wheat burger buns. Honey wheat burger buns. That's a baby burger bun right there. Soon it will grow. So you guys, we're in like, we're kind of like in the womb. This is like the bread womb. Oh my, the bread womb. I think we need a sign. I have come up with a new name. This is the bread womb. Uh, yeah, Melinda, you can get their bread at Market of Choice. Sundance as well. Uh, wow. Okay. How many people can tell people that they've gone? Not a lot. Yeah, this, look at that. That's one hell of a piece of equipment. So what am I having for lunch? Bread. What? Are, oh. This is our uh, burger buns. Oh, they're beautiful. Might be warm. They're a little warm. Look at that. Perfect for summertime burgers. Gloria says I've been buying their their whole wheat buns for uh, years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, you guys. Honey wheat bread. This is the honey wheat. What is it about people and bread, do you think? You know what? Because it's it's so simple, you know? Okay, so you have, you need flour, water, yeast, salt, and you can make bread. Essentially. Right? Essentially. You can make more, you know, elaborate breads, but bread is just kind of a, you know, a simple food. That comfort. Comfort. And, you know, it's made here in your and community. It's it's, right here. It goes back millennia. Now, what is that? This is... Uh, Kalamata olive bread. Kalamata olive bread. Mm -hmm. oh. Delicious. Beautiful. <laughs> and then here's the bagels. Some, some of the bagels. We got cranberry bagels. We'll be baking about, about 900 to 1,000 bagels today. Somebody says bread is simple, but it's also magical. It is. Well, Dave can talk to you about the chemistry of that. You know, it's our production folks will stand by this. We are all at the mercy of the dough. On a hot day, yeah, that's your boss. When the dough is rising, <laughs> you better get to it, right? We're constantly battling the elements and the temperature and the weather. And I bet. It's seasons. kind of, yeah, nothing is an exact science. When you're making it, you're proofing it, you're baking it, you got to intuit it. Like, I really... You're working it as fast as you have to and... and, and reading the dough. You got to read it. Working hard. Throwing dough is it's hard work. Guys, I see your message that the mic is crackling. It's because I was moving it the wrong way. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> They're very good about that. I get excited and start moving it around and I stretch it and everything. So you guys, what do you want people to know about what this COVID and what's happened and how that's changed what you're doing? Well, we all have to embrace the challenge and just, uh, just masks. We're, uh, spaced out with physical had to scale back a little bit. We had to let a few of our staff go. About a third of us is no longer with us at the moment. But um, come, fingers crossed that uh, we don't have to come back and be able to bring everyone back on. But we had to space out. Um, we had fewer people in the building. Um, with more rigorous sanitation control. Uh, what else? Already pretty. Um, I mean, you're sanitary, you wear hair nets, you wear, I mean, there's a lot of things you already do that other people don't do. Yeah, we, de we definitely, um, you know, some processes are already in place and it made it easy for us to say, okay, we're going to keep operating um, because we did, you know, we were an essential business and we operate underneath the Oregon Department of Agriculture, all of those, uh, you know, rules. And it, it was something that we could do. Um, but it was important for me to uh, talk with all of our staff and just get a read on them. Are you feel safe? You you know, shall we do this? Can we do this? We have this food, this facility that can make food. 
we should feed people, you know, and it's that is something that we stand by. This is a basic product. We have the facility to, to make it and food feed or bread feed. So, you yeah, know, the responsibility of ours to take that on and keep us going, keep it, keep the business going. And um, it's a bit of an old institution of Eugene. Uh, and yeah, it was a huge responsibility and a huge challenge, but one thing that I felt most is you know it's a team effort it's always every day in this house it's a team effort mm -hmm. we have the production folks we have the packaging folks we have our driving folks in office and we couldn't do all this without each of them pulling their share so when COVID hit we're like hey we talk with each of us because we can't do this thing without each unit right and so just really kind of making sure people are feel safe and you know they can express their needs and their stresses um, you know yeah. shortly soon after that we realized yeah we can do this let's do this so it's been a nice time to um, reflect on you know with covid everyone is kind of like pulling in a little bit we had some extra time to really uh think about what our you know what our mission is what our goals are and um you know do know what our strengths are and fix our weaknesses and just do it so it's been it's been great every day is a bread adventure here at the bread <laughs> stop bread it is <laughs> so you guys um elements health club in eugene is sponsoring the show the different businesses so what you can do is if you go into any of the elements gyms just mention rick dancer and you will get a month free membership and then anybody that comes in this next week uh, the bread stop is going to uh, give a $50 gift certificate and they will have the breads of your choice delivered and we'll tell you how you can get all that done. So that's going to be the, so what you do is of all the people that go in and register for the free membership this next week, you will be put into a hat and someone will win that $50 gift card. So you guys, thanks for letting us come in. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Thanks for your visit. It's been really fun. It's been, I, I'm, I need a roll. <laughs> I need a roll. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you very much. Okay, you guys, and again, um, I got to keep my, hold on. Look, I even have brown hair, you guys, because I got a net. So um, again, this is sponsored by Elements Health Clubs, Eugene, Springfield, and West Eugene. And um, oh, also, they'll give you and your staff um, a corporate membership stuff. They'll talk to you about that, too, for your staff and stuff. God, that anyway, so tonight, you guys, at 30, the buck stops here. Uh, we're talking to a college student who recently was diagnosed with COVID, he and a bunch of his friends, and he's out of quarantine now, and he's gonna talk with us live about the experience and what he thought. So that's tonight at 4.30, the buck stops here, right here on Get Real First Chancer. Take this, share it on your pages, and let people know um, that local still matters, okay? All right, you guys, see you later.